my easy version of the Hokkaido baked cheese tarts. I hope you enjoy this and I hope you'll give this a try. Let's get started. For the Hokkaido baked cheese tarts, for the crust, we need 170 grams of cake flour, 50 grams of almond flour, 50 grams of sifted confectioner sugar, 1 4 teaspoon salt, 1 half cup of butter, 1 whole egg. For the filling of the Hokkaido baked cheese tarts, you need 1 cup or 225 grams of cream cheese, sugar, 1 whole egg, 1 egg yolk, 1 cup whipping cream or you can use all-purpose cream, 3 tablespoons of cornstarch, 3 tablespoons butter, 2 teaspoons of vanilla, 1 tablespoon of lemon juice. To mix, we put together all the dry ingredients. So I have here flour, almond flour, that was cake flour, almond flour, and then you have powdered sugar, you have a little salt, okay. We're going to use a mixer. If you don't have a mixer, you can use a pastry blender or you can just use a bowl scraper. And then we add in the butter. Your butter should be cold like this, firm. And then you mix it until it becomes sandy. The mixture becomes sandy or it has a pulboron look. Right here. This is the mixture we want to achieve. Look. It's sandy. Like this. Okay. So it means that the flour has coated the butter. And then we add the egg. If you have a large piece of egg, like what I have here, you might not need all of it, so add it gradually. You should have enough to bind. Okay, I think I have enough. Okay, like this. So this is done. Okay. I probably used only about uh, 35 grams or 40 grams of eggs. Here is our dough. You press it together until they all bind. Like this. Just press them. Once they're all uh, mixed together or they all bind like this, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, wrap this in cling wrap and you chill this for about at least 30 minutes. You can chill this overnight too, but at least 30 minutes, all right? In the meantime, we will make the filling. Cream cheese, sugar, all-purpose cream. Or you can use whipping cream. You soften the cream cheese first. You have one whole egg and one egg yolk. And then you mix this at low heat because we don't want this to burn. And the uh, cream cheese is a bit cold. So we're slowly bringing the cream cheese to room temperature. Here you can see that the uh, cream cheese has now melted. So what we're going to do is we wait until it thickens. Going to add butter here. And we have vanilla and lemon juice. You wait for the mixture to boil so that you're sure the starch is cooked. So here, it's nice and smooth and thick. So this is done. And then, transfer it to another bowl. See, this is the consistency. It should not be very thick. You adjust sugar to taste. Also the lemon juice. If you don't like it very tart, then you can reduce the lemon juice. And then you get plastic film or cling wrap. And then this one, so it will not form a skin. We cover it to a touch, to the touch meaning the uh, plastic should touch the mixture. All right, and then we will chill this. Once it's uh, chilled and then the uh, tart shells are cooled, we're ready to assemble them. For the Hokkaido cheese tarts, I uh, portioned this into 30 grams to fit a large muffin pan and then flour your hands and just press this 
on the sides, along the sides and the bottom. You don't need to grease the pan. And then after that, you press this with a uh, fork. And then we bake this for about 20 minutes at 350 degrees or until it's cooked. All right? So it's like this. You don't have to smoothen out. This, this will be fine after it's baked because we're going to put the filling. All right? I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded. We have our baked tart shells now, so we're going to fill this with our cream cheese filling. Then we brush the top with a mixture of egg yolk and milk. At the same time, you try to smoothen the top. And then we put this back in the oven just to brown the top. Once you see brown spots, then it's done. If your oven has a broil uh, function, then put this on broil just until you see uh, brown spots. Here is our uh, baked Hokkaido cheese tarts. I hope you'll enjoy them. By the way, when you take them out of the oven and eat it, what happens is the inside is a little bit gooey, but that's perfectly all right. But once it cools down, it'll firm up. Anyway, the filling is already cooked. So I hope you'll enjoy my version of the Hokkaido baked cheese tarts. <music>